At first glance, it may be hard to understand why the expected value of x squared is not equal to the square of the expected value of x. So let me provide an intuitive example. So the main difference is that if we take the square of the expected value of x, then what we're doing is taking mu of x, the expected value, and squaring it. When you do e of x squared, you can think of it like e of y, like this is a variable in here, right? And we're just setting that equal to x squared. All right, so here's my numerical example. In order to find the square of e of x, we first have to find e of x. So let's use these numbers. Have all these numbers right here. If you'll notice, there's two of each number between negative three and positive three. Let's turn this list of numbers into a PDF. So recall that a PDF just takes each one of the outcomes of x and relates it with its probability of occurring. So there are the numbers, and there are their probabilities. Notice there's two of every number. They're equally likely to occur. And I've just organized them here so that they are in numerical order. Now let's find the expected value. Well, we know that the expected value of x is the sum of multiplying x times its probability. So here I've made a new column, x times its probability. So negative 3 happens 1 7th of the time. Multiply that out, you get negative 3 7 and so on. Add up all the numbers in this column, and you get 0. So the expected value of x is 0, and you might think that, that makes sense if you have all these negative threes canceling the positive threes, negative two cancels positive two, negative one cancels one, you end up with zero. Let's move on to finding the expected value of x squared. Well, first of all, what's x squared? We were basically just taking each of these x's and squaring it. So let me add this column to the table. Negative three squared is nine, negative two squared is four, right? One squared is one, etc. Now let's find the expected value of that variable x squared. So let's go through this process and multiply x squared by the probability that that x occurs. All right, so 1 7 of our numbers are negative 3. If we square that negative 3, our x squared is 9. 9 times that probability gives us 9 7 Do that for all of these numbers, where this column is just the square of this column, and this column is this column multiplied by that one. Now, we just want to add all these numbers up. We get 28 over 7. That is our expected value of x squared. So with these numbers, we found that the expected value of x was 0. So we squared it, got 0. But the expected value of x squared was 28 over 7. Basically, what happened was when we squared these numbers, they no longer cancel out their positive equivalents. So there's the rule. Hopefully now it makes a bit more sense.